Hey there, what signs? Please do check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and you can also check your Saturn. This is just a quick energy check-in. Check the weekly astrology theme for your sign. It might be very similar to this. Let's have a look. Um, and this is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, all placements. And if you've seen this video and you don't necessarily have them in your top signs, you are probably call to it for a reason. If it resonates, take it. So, um, happy solar return for Pisces people as well. Obviously, I hope you had a lovely birthday before we move into Aries. Um, lovely. You guys are coming back into realizing how you have held your back, herself back from believing in yourself. This is very similar to some of the weekly astrological theme that I've done for Cancer Scorpio Pisces in the weekly. If you've seen that, you might feel a bit of res resonance, which confirms what we are saying. You find yourself having to overcome certain challenges of your own thoughts and you are putting them to, to rest. During the astrological reading I mentioned this week, you are going to have that realisation that it's been your own thoughts, mainly your thoughts and your perception that has held you back from being the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Focusing on yourself, loving yourself to the absolute max, working on your dreams and not being held back. Make sure, make sure you're reinventing yourself in good energy. Okay, balance that energy out. Make sure it's it's good energy. The advice here is to face your fears. That's the only way you will overcome and move into a more balanced energy. But I love this because I feel like a lot of you have had a difficult time, but some of it has been through not being able to see the finer things. And Scorpio especially, you'll always be unapologetically you and if you lost that you needed to find it you may be hiding certain aspects of yourself or feeling like you can't live in your truth when you're around certain people you know and never bend or hide who you are for the sake of people there's a death there's a cycle there's a tower that's collapsing and i believe it's around your thoughts you keeping yourself held back moving into this there's no these two focus on themselves and they make sure their cups are full their health their emotions they're in check their creativity their passion their spark for life what they need in life is for them they're on the right path to focus on themselves um never bend or allow people to make you feel or hide just for the sake of people um, or making people feel more comfortable because that will come to an end and that is coming to an end this week I had it in your uh, astro reading where you've had that epiphany people are generally supposed to be in your circle effortlessly you know they should understand you and make an effort to um, you will you will never make people that are supposed to be in your circle will never make you feel look at this queen of cups will never make you feel the change or the need to change who you are to please them and the queen of cups is it the queen or the king the king of cups even better the king of cups pours out emotional advice and is very in touch with his emotions but he's not like this queen of cups where sometimes she can go overboard and she doesn't fill her own cup you're filling your own cup but you're still grounded in your heart space the more you remain authentic the more authentic people will attract to your reality the key to happiness is being comfortable in your own skin being you doing you and balancing your authenticity making sure you're in the right energy not a mask or something you are trying to hide um 
I feel like there's abundance coming in for you as well. And recognition. Look, when you allow yourself to be you, look at how things change. Those people that maybe you're trying to people please, this is for some of you, they're going to end up being on the sideline recognizing you, whereas before you were kind of hiding. Scorpio energy, very strong in this reading. Get rid, release anyone who's not serving you. That's what I'm getting with this. You're going to be stepping out into better energy. You need to make sure you balance that energy. Your needs will be met if you are willing to be patient. Spirit, uh, also don't gamble with these two, with this card, don't gamble in terms of money or abundance because that's coming in for you, some kind of abundance. There's a partnership here, which could be the abundance that's coming in. There is love possibly coming in. Somebody, um, I've discussed about getting rid of people that you need to. I'm not going to go into it any, any further. You know that. No matter what's going on, you will continue to receive the blessings that you should be receiving, Scorpio. The only thing is it will be sped up with your patience and staying aligned and realizing you have also held yourself back. There might be shit around. I'm not saying no, but... And there might be things that have caused us to really be dragged down, but you realizing who you are and that you need to come back to yourself, recognize yourself is really important. I would also say with the page of cups and the two of cups, you are getting there is love here. And I think one of the one of the cards I pulled again, Scorpio, um, check your March readings, but there was love there. Don't be irrational when it comes to certain stuff. Um, you are the breadwinner in this case. Look, don't be irrational when it comes to certain stuff. There, you know, and get over anything that's causing you grief, holding you back. Because as soon as you do, you will be in this energy that you just love yourself. And people are going to recognize that. And this abundance whether it's love, whether it's financial, whether it's a job, whatever it is, regardless, is coming in for you. So that was a quick check-in for you, Cancer Scorpio. Pisces, if you like to give it a thumbs up, let me know how it resonated, and I'll see you in the next reading.